In this video, we have given that cube root of 2 minus x plus a square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1 and we have to find the value of x. So if we take cube root of 2 minus x as a, then we get 2 minus x is equal to a cube or a cube plus x is equal to 2. Suppose this is equation 1 and if we take a square root of x minus 1 as b then we get x minus 1 is equal to b square or x is equal to b square plus 1. Suppose this is equation 2 and we have given that cube root of 2 minus x plus a square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1 and this is a plus this is b is equal to 1. Suppose this is equation 3. So we have three equations, equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3 and the three variables also a, b and x. So from equation 1 we have a cube plus x is equal to 2 and now we can eliminate x from equation 2 here a cube and from equation 2 x is equal to b square plus 1 x is b square plus 1 that is 2 or we can get a cube plus b square is equal to 2 minus 1 that is 1 and now from equation 3 we can eliminate b here we have a cube and from equation 3 we can get b is equal to 1 minus a b is 1 minus a a square is equal to 1 and we get a cube plus 1 plus a square minus 2a is equal to 1 or a cube plus a square minus 2a is equal to 1 minus 1 that is 0 and it is a times a square plus a minus 2 is equal to 0 and now if we add 2 and minus 1 then we get 1 and if we multiply 2 and minus 1 then we get minus 2 so it is a into this is a plus 2 into a minus 1 that is equal to 0 and we get a is equal to 0 and a is equal to minus 2 and a is equal to 1. And from equation 1 we can get x is equal to 2 minus a cube. we have x is equal to 2 minus a cube and we get x is equal to 2 minus a cube is 0 or x is equal to 2 and here also we have x is equal to 2 minus a cube and x is equal to 2 minus a cube is minus 8 or x is equal to 2 plus 8 that is 10 and here x is equal to 2 minus a cube and we get x is equal to 2 minus a cube is 1 or x is equal to 1. So we get x is equal to 2, 10 and 1. We get x is equal to 2, 10 and 1. And now if we check the domain then a square root can never be negative. So x minus 1 cannot be negative and for any value of x x minus 1 is either positive or 0. So on the 3 value of x will be the solution of this equation.